we're back out at Little Reserve that we've been having pretty good success at with the silvers and British coins. And Steve's had his first find. And it's a little thrippence. It's a nice little silver. Pretty sure it's got George the Fifth on it. Just gonna give it a little clean and see what it actually is. So here's the nice little thrippence Steve just got, and it's a 1918. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's get some more. Yeah, it's real horrible. 40, 34, 36, 30. Okay, so Steve got his little silver probably about two meters away. And got another nice tone. Actually, no, it wasn't nice, it was a crappy one. <laughs> but dug it anyway. You can see there's a coin. There's actually the impression of the coin right there, but it's hard to pick it up. Ooh, it looks corroded. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, it's it's a Victoria, I think, Steve. Oh, cool. Yeah, it is too. Alright, so it's a Britannia penny. Eighteen ninety-six. Oh, Britannia one penny. So it's a veil head, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, cool. It's in nice and ink too. All right, I'll give it a little clean up and we'll have a better look at it. Okay, now Steve just had this fine. I thought I was recording, but then I checked and I wasn't. So we'll have to go over this again. He's got a 1917 threepence. So that's a pretty cool fine. And just before I found this little bit, I thought it was another gunny bit, but it's not. It's something else. I'll get a better picture because the GoPro won't pick that up. That's the back of it, and it's got GC and Co 4263, something like that, written down the bottom. So if you know what that is, let me know. Steve's out doing me. So guys, had a nice little target down here. Oh, it's hard to feel it, but it is in the 30s. Dug down a bit, this ground's still quite hard. And it's just there. Ooh. What is it? Looks good. Oh my god, I think it's a shilling. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay. I shouldn't rub it. English shilling. Okay, cool. Get some water onto it. Oh, it's a Victoria. I can see a veil on it. Ooh, nice. I haven't found one of these ones before. Yep, this queer Vicky. Oh, has it had a hole drilled through the top of it? Or is it some kind of a dowie thing? No, it's had a hole drilled through it. Oh, cool. Now, yeah, I can't make out the writing really well. 1890, I can see that much. Can you hold it the right way, Steve? I'll try and check. <sighs> yeah, 1890. Nice. So it is a shilling? Yep. Cool. Get a better photo of that one. Yay! I finally got a coin. With a hole drilled in it. With a hole in it. That's <laughs> even better. Nice silver. Alright, let's get some more. Okay guys, so I just got a little half penny, 
that was just in here. It's a Queen Victoria and I think it's 1899. It's pretty worn, but I'll clean it up. So that was pretty cool. And then from here to there, I got another signal. So I dug it up and it's come out in this clump. Sorry about the sniffing, I've got a really bad cold. I don't know what it is, so let's pull it out together. Let's see what we've got. It's bent. I think it's been shot. Oh, I can see something up the top. Okay, this is just weird. Alright, I'll clean it up and I'll get back to you. Okay, we just gave this little thing. It's not a coin. It's actually got Australasia written at the top. And there's something, I'm not sure if they're rifles or there's something crossed in the centre and a reef. And then there's something written in there, but I can't quite make it out. As you can see, it's kind of like a domey. Someone's, yeah, someone's a... punched something onto it. Yeah. But we'll clean it up a bit better at home and try and figure it out. But it's still pretty cool. So guys, had another uh, nice tone here in the low 20s, a little bit jumpy, and I'm not sure what it is exactly, but I'm guessing it could be a button, quite a big button if it was I think, yeah, it must be a button, I'm not sure, I'm going to have to clean it up, it does have some writing around it. But it's pretty cool. It's quite big too. So clean it up, try and work out what it is. So guys, I was just cleaning up this last find and it's actually got New Zealand and Force. And I think there's a crown and three stars, so I'm not sure if that's New Zealand military or not. But that's pretty cool. I have to do some research into this guy. Pretty happy with that one. Alright, pinpoint is beeping. Got to get back to digging. So it's just near where I got the New Zealand forces button. Let's see, there's something else cool in here. another button <gasps> it is too okay some poor New Zealand soldiers lost his coat here it's another armed forces uh, button it's actually got the shank on this one too awesome all right let's quickly get over to Steve because he's probably got something cool Thirty-four, thirty-six. okay 34 36 on the X terror can see it. It's definitely a penny. Another Britannia, I'm pretty sure. Looks old. Uh, it's an Edward, I think, or is it a Georgie? George the fifth. Nineteen. Man, that is hard to read. 1916, I think. Awesome. Nice work, Steve. 
coop. Okay guys, had a nice little tone down here. It was a 22 to 24. And we did see it pop out. Just see the edge of it there. GoPro doesn't even, pinpoint doesn't even want to pick it up. It's gotta be a little silver. Nice. Okay, can't see anything on it. I won't rub it. I'll work out what it is. And let you all know. I think I can see a coat of arms, so more than likely Australian. I think I can see George. Cool. Alright, I'll work it out and let you know. Okay guys, just cleaned up that little thribbins and it's actually a English 1908. So it's King Edward the Seventh on the back. So pretty happy with that one. This might be the last find. We're probably going to head into town. Yay! Have a look at all our cool finds that we've gotten today. Okay, guys, we finished up our little hunt. Over here is all the junk that we dug today. It's just the usual old candy bits. A few little pull tabby things, chain. What else is there? I don't know. Brake the shoe. Brake shoe. Some other motorbike thingy. More junk. Some bottle caps. Yeah, just your normal crap. Over here, got all sorts of little gunny bits. Some more big gunny bits. There's a broken bit of horseshoe. And this one was a surface find that I found. A full horsey shoe. Got these little clips. They're probably off horse leads. Something like that. I don't know. Uh, Steve found this cool little buckle. And then I found this awesome big cool buckle. <laughs> Mine's bigger than yours, Steve. Also, Steve got this button. It's got something on it, but can't quite make it out. And I found this one. And it's, I don't know, WG or something like that, Ward. And it's actually got Bathurst written at the bottom of it. So some of these things today we didn't film. We just left the camera in a central location. And sometimes it was too far to get. So that's a pretty cool button. Now down to the cool things. We've got, well, Steve got. Here's his pile of coins. 1916 Britannia Penny uh, and 1896 uh, Britannia Penny. He found one of these little things that matched one like that that I got. So we've got to look into these further. It's actually a little spring at the back. So we're going to nut out what they are. He also got two silvers, 1917 threepence and a 1918 threepence. Both Australian ones. Moved down to my awesome cool pile of better things. <laughs> um, this Australasia, I'm not sure if it's a token, a medallion, what it is. We've got to clean it up a little bit more at home. I got two New Zealand Forces buttons. That one's still got the little shanky in the back. So I've got to clean them up a little bit more at home. Uh, that's that weird little thing that Steve's got a matching one to. And my cool coins is this 1890 Queen Victoria I'm pretty sure it's a shilling I don't know I gotta look it up but it's had a hole drilled in it so someone maybe wore it as a necklace also got an 1899 half penny pretend penny half and just before got a 1908 threepence English threepence so we'll take these all home clean them up put all our junk that we're not going to keep in the bag which goes in the bin and yeah let's head home so thanks for watching guys we'll catch you all again soon steve's gonna say bye bye everyone cool